Hello and welcome. My name is Dylan and today we're going to be talking about Operation Albris, steps 15 to probably 22 or something like that. So uh, the first step here is to head to the helm, go to the war table and listen to an update from Saladin. So let's go to destinations. Let's go to the helm just above the tower. So when you get here, you'll be rewarded with a little mini cutscene of Saladin talking over all this text. So you can go through and listen to that. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our quests here and look at the next step. So step 16 of Operation Elbrus is to enter a PSYOPs battleground and find and eliminate a Light Hoarder. Um, oh, okay, so we just have to launch this from the helm directly. We don't have to go to an extra... Uh, we don't have to go to an extra spot like we did for the Cosmodrone and the EDZ. So let's just open up our destinations here, go to the helm, and just right up at the top here, we're going to launch into the PsyOps Battlegrounds playlist. I believe when you go ahead and kill the Light Bear, you're going to get something called Hoarded Light. Uh, I don't think it's something that you hold on your person, but it is an item that you uh, will see pop up on your screen. So um, Now we have the step where, again, we have to gain intel. Now, again, just like the other weeks, if we go to our inventory here and we take a look, uh, we're going to see that you, it's possible that you have too much intel. So personally for me, I have a 20 intel too much. So I have to discard my stack of intel and go and earn 500 more intel. So if you are struggling on this step, if it won't let you collect intel for step 17 of Operation Elbrus, then simply, just like I did, just delete your stack of intel and go and earn 500 more. And this applies for second and third characters as well. Um, if you're trying to do these quests on your other characters, it's possible that you already gained all of the intel on your main character, so you have to delete your stack and go through and earn it over again. Now, for this 500 intel, you could go ahead and complete two Crucible matches or um, two Gambit matches, two Strikes, something like that. But for me, I'm going to go through to Sabathun's Throne World and I'm going to launch the Wellspring activity. And the reason for this, if we click in, you do get a fair amount of um, intel rewarded at the end. And also, if I go through and change the difficulty here, oh, there's somebody who has open mic in my thing. Um, if you go through and change the difficulty here, you can see which weapons are available. Jesus. If you go to the difficulty option here, which is unlocked at either rank 13 or rank 18 with Finch, you can check which weapon is available for each day. And if you go through on whatever day a weapon is available, you can go through and try to earn this weapon. There is a chance that you earn the weapon. And there's also a chance that each one of the weapons that you earn, it will roll for a chance to get a red bar weapon. And if you obtain the red bar, the amount of red bars that you need, so for this bow, it is three that you need to obtain this pattern, then you can go through and craft this weapon for yourself. So you can see on screen there that I got 615. Plus, I also got a bunch of random drops of 40 or 46 um, throughout from just killing enemies. So let's go through and look at our quest here. Okay, so step 18 is the standard. Launch the playlist from the helm and go through and open a runic chest. Three, two, one. So after we have gone through and decoded our chest at the end, let's head back to the helm and talk to Lord Saladin at the war table. So it looks like there's going to be another little mini cutscene. So I'll see you guys right after. So that was actually a really, really wholesome cutscene. Um, highly, highly recommend that you guys watch that. So let's go through and claim our Umbral Ingram here. And that's probably going to be the last for this season. Let me go ahead and open up the quest here. And discovering the truths hidden by the Lucent Hive will take time. Saladin will contact you. Okay, so yeah, we have to wait until next week. So we finish this week on step 20. And just quickly in editing here, uh, I would do it in the game, but the servers are down. Um, you do complete this triumph here, the uh, psionic operator. 
So you can go through and complete this in your challenges. So you can go to your seasonal ranks and it'll be down in the bottom left. Or you can simply go to your quest tab and it will be a bar across the top for your challenges. It's going to be the top left hand corner. And when you click in that, you will receive an insight, which you can use in the war table to unlock further perks for the seasonal content. So anyways, guys, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everybody.